Hi family, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. <clears throat> I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. Also, roles can be reversed. This reading will be for Aries, Taurus, Cusp. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to join the family. I would absolutely love to have you. And if you're returning, welcome back. I love you guys. Make sure you all uh, adjust your notification bell so that you'll be notified for your live videos as well as your future uploaded videos. Please keep in mind that we do have a second channel also, Troy's Mermaid Palace LLC. Make sure you guys go and check out the collective readings. I'm probably only there once a week, um, so this will be the main channel. Make sure you guys check out your signs, your person signs, and anything else that you may be interested in on the channel. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high, please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for the sign of Aries, Taurus, Cusp. Please return all evil negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold, and anyone out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. Uh, so there could definitely be a situation at your job where somebody dropped the ball or somebody could be making a lot of mistakes right now, overwhelmed, feeling imbalanced um, when it comes to work. Uh, this could be in regards to teamwork, compromising, uh, scatter energy is what I'm saying here. And I feel like you're avoiding, you're trying to avoid the conflict. It's too many disorganized people, um, too many people wanting to, to be in charge. And I feel like you guys are just kind of becoming overwhelmed with the energy. Uh, you may be born on... Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that's born on the 5th, the 2nd, or the 3rd of some month. Empress energy. Somebody, some of you guys, you're manifesting a new opportunity. Um, you may still be at the job, you know, you could still be trying, but it's like you are really focusing on manifesting a, a new opportunity. Um, somebody's watching you. Somebody is watching you. And it's like they're upset because I feel like somebody's trying to bring conflict and you're just avoiding it. Some of you guys may have held on to this job too long. You know that, you know, and you could be moving in a new direction. I'm also picking up the energy that you could have a Libra, a Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sash, Gemini, or Aquarius. Uh, somebody could be watching you. And it's like you, somebody's pissed because it's like you make it look so easy. You just manifest. Everybody else, um, I don't know. It's like you're not, you're not being moved by whatever it is, that whatever reaction they're, they're trying to get out of you. You're not being moved. There's a lot of passive aggressive energy, um, especially when it comes to like if we're talking about work, your accomplishments, your success. You're separating yourself from certain individuals. You're separating yourself from certain individuals. You're not taking yourself through the trauma. For some of you guys, this could be your child, your child's mother. 
Um, others of you guys, this is mainly speaking about work. Somebody's in denial about a connection or about a work situation. But spirit is putting you in a position where it's it's no you can't you can't bypass this this change. Um you're you're gonna have to um Yeah, you you can't because it's a it's a lot of conflict and you just don't wanna be bothered with it. And some of you guys are already in the public eye. You could be doing something in the public eye. Like, uh, you could be an entrepreneur or something of that sort. You just already have a lot going on. All right. So, what is coming towards my Aries Taurus cusp? A completion, an ending of some sort for a new beginning. Uh, if there's an ending for a new beginning... Uh, some of you guys are going to be traveling or you're going to be meeting people from all over the world and seeing things from a different perspective. Um, no matter what this ending is, relationship, job, whatever, yeah, because you're walking away. Um, your heart may be broken or you, I don't know, it could happen like a way that you're not expecting expecting it to happen. But it's going to help you see what it is that spirit needs you to see in order for you to move forward, to move on. It's work. It's a lot around work. Uh you could be seeing the you could be seeing eights right now. It's like, you're just not, you're accepting things for what they are. And I see new beginnings for you. A lot of self-love. This is why you're avoiding conflict and things of that sort. You're loving yourself. I'm seeing moon energy, Pisces Cancer energy. It's like not taking this action. Something's going to come up. So you, if you know you've been holding on to something too long, whether it's a connection or work, it's going to be cut out of your life because it's too much stress. And spirit is wanting you to focus more on your manifestation. Um, your studies. You're studying something new for some of you guys. Could be around spirituality. Don't necessarily have to be. But there's a, a choice that has to be made. Yeah, and I see the two of swords as I say that. There's a choice that needs to be made. It could have something to do with leadership in the community. Uh, maybe you're a leader or a healer or a speaker or a mentor or something of that sort. But it's like you have a higher calling. You have a higher purpose. And also, you may not even be making as much money as you really want to make with the financial constraints energy. Wow, love is coming. So this storm warning here, I feel like it's mainly around work. I do feel like in love, you're going to be meeting someone new. You guys are going to be very connected. This is something that you manifested. Maybe a uh, Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Although, I feel like the new person could be a Gemini or a Virgo. And the old person may be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for some of you guys. Tell me about the man holding your heart. Broken heart. Yeah, I feel like this is the ex, the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They're very strategic when it comes to you. This is also the storm warning here. 
this person is a ticking, like they, they go off, they go off, this person's heartbroken, they're very emotional at this time, definitely could be because you're caring about somebody else, alright, yeah, because you got envy, you, you're caring about somebody else, Someone that you may feel like is marriage material. Someone could be born on the 6th of someone. It could be a businesswoman with the woman with the coin. Alright. And it's like somebody is really jealous about that. And I see a storm warning here. Um, this person is coming for your finances. Definitely could be a Scorpio as well. Or a Libra. October 13th. Um, so I feel like, uh, definitely if you have children with this person, child support, sat, some type of contract agreement, I don't know, something where money's involved. All right. Mm. But I see you falling in love with somebody. And it's going to be a breath of fresh air for you. This person is very peaceful. Um, so I see that energy coming in for you. Yeah, and then you got romantic love here. Confirmation. You you have romantic love. Um, so you guys are definitely in for a fresh new start. So tell me what to expect in this fresh new start. Uh, for my beautiful, sexy, airy, serious cuss. Meditation. Uh, this could be a very spiritual being. This person may wear an ankh or have an ankh tattoo or an ankh something. Uh, there's a lot of hope here. Well, ironically, it's so crazy because I feel like this person is somebody that you had a connection with in the past and it ended and it's a rebirth. So this could be somebody that you really cared about and things just didn't go as planned. And I'm seeing a rebirth here. Um, this is a very in intelligent individual. They can come off as far as how they look as kind of ordinary. They may not do much. Um, but it's like they're very beautiful. There's going to be, uh, some resentment coming in from somebody in your past that's jealous of this connection and they're not using their wisdom here, uh, moving with this, but I see righteousness, uh, which is letting me know. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. Order and peace is here. So regardless of how this person feels about your new connection, somebody could be Jamaican, they may speak Patois. There's a sense of wholeness with you and this person. And there's also skills. So you guys are going to be building together. All right. So those are the messages that I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you like this reading, if it resonates with your story, show your girl some love. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.